The FDA has granted breakthrough therapy designation for Roche's multiple sclerosis treatment, Ocrelizumab. How significant is this announcement? I think the first thing to note is that Ocrelizumab is the first multiple sclerosis drug to receive breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA. And perhaps more importantly, breakthrough status has been granted specifically for the treatment of primary progressive MS, which accounts for between 10 and 15% of all cases, but for which there is no currently available treatment. Ocrelizumab became the first drug to hit its primary endpoint in a large phase 3 study for primary progressive MS last year. So this looks like a significant opportunity for Ocrelizumab and Roche? Well, I think it's particularly interesting to consider the FDA's backing um, for ocrelizumab in primary progressive MS against the feedback from KOLs who were interviewed by First Word late last year. While the majority of experts are encouraged by the ocrelizumab data, they're also somewhat cautious towards the fact that only a subset of patients, those who exhibited inflammatory disease activity, appeared to benefit from treatment. In summary, they, they view the data as a good starting point rather than a home run. So I think in this context, FDA backing is definitely good news. And what about the opportunity in the larger, relapsing, remitting MS market? Well, KOLs are really enthusiastic on this front. In essence, ocrelizumab is as efficacious as the most effective MS treatments available, but it does appear to have a considerably better side effect profile. Experts have suggested that pricing will play a key role in dictating where usage occurs, as will evaluation of long-term safety in a real-world setting. But there definitely seems to be an opportunity for ocrelizumab to be used as a first-line therapy.